It's a very exciting time at Bruce Peninsula National Park. In the fall is hatchling season, the best time of year. <laughs> These are the first turtles ever incubated for the park's Road to Recovery program. Once all the turtles from the clutch or the nest have hatched, we weigh them, we measure them, we make sure they're doing okay. These are baby painted and snapping turtles, both at-risk species in Ontario. They're here because their moms nested so close to a road, the turtles would likely have died had they not been rescued. But finding all these turtle eggs was not an easy task. To get the eggs, park staff relied on the help of some dedicated volunteers, the turtle trackers. Turtle nests and their eggs are particularly prone to predation from animals like raccoons and skunks. So in the spring, we watch for turtles that are laying eggs and we put a protective box over them to keep the predators out. Sometimes we can't put a box on them because they're so close to a road. Those eggs are collected and put in an incubator. The turtle trackers are part of a comprehensive program the park has undertaken to help at-risk reptiles and amphibians on the Bruce Peninsula recover from the deadly impacts of roads. We have installed eco-passages and wildlife exclusion fencing in key areas where road mortality was a problem so that the reptiles and amphibians could cross the road safely. While fencing and eco-passages are reducing road mortality, they're not practical everywhere, and they don't help with nest predation. That's where the turtle trackers come in. Since only about 1% of hatchlings make it to maturity, every baby turtle that volunteers keep safe is key to their recovery. The more nests we protect, that increases our odds to help these animals because so little of them survive to adulthood. In the fall, after months underground, the eggs protected by the turtle trackers are ready to hatch. The volunteers check each nesting box three times a day. They check the boxes looking for hatchlings emerging. Now, have you got four legs there again? Yes, you do. And once they do, they take them out and help them safely to the wetland that they came from. While handling wildlife in the park is usually not allowed, the turtle trackers have received training for these special circumstances. These little guys have a chance where in the past they wouldn't have had no chance at all. Okay, it's a little mucky there, and then we'll step on this. Part. When it comes time to release the incubated turtles, everyone's invited. There you go. It felt like holding a little pancake. Pick one? Yeah. This is my first time ever touching a baby turtle. Like, this is what I've been working up for. So, this is absolutely incredible. You're free. People would look at me and say, he's probably a crusty old guy, but when there's little turtles like that around and just a big pile of mush. We have 290 eggs in the incubator, and we've protected over 100 nests in the area, so that's thousands of young turtles. We would never have been able to do it without all the community and all the volunteers. It's early mornings, and it's a commitment, but it's so worth it. It's worth everything.